Welcome back to more Farm for Chiochi Holy Wars. So last time I made a lot of mistakes, but oh well. Maybe with the inheritance, but yeah, we got through at the end. <laughs> and yeah, I talked about some other things too, made to do with art. Oh yeah, we still need to send her in the room. Oop. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, let's see. So we did just complete the original project, that's really cool. She didn't even need the UFL, so yeah. <laughs> Good on her. Ideen's gonna head her way back. Um, these two are waiting. Claude is also waiting for Tier 2. To um, select from the terms. So I guess we might be sending her in next. I'm gonna wait just in case I decide, you know what, I'm gonna dump a lot of money on her. So yeah. Anyway, so we're gonna get you a little bit closer because yeah, we're gonna try using her a little bit. Eh, might as well get Luxus a little closer too. With her Slim Sword. Die both her. Yeah, these two are just chilling because I might dump money for So yeah. And yeah, I'm just saying these dudes back. They, let's show us something kinda cool. I think this happens now. Yep. So, um, if you send um, two lovers together to the base castle, I'll have a small conversation, which is cool, I guess. Damn, home, it looks like you still are too. Oh, effort. Ex actually, I was waiting for you. And yeah, that happens only once, so yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. So we'll also be able to see the Lex Iron one, and also the, um... Mid and Medea one. But anyway, uh, we can't really do anything else, so let's return. And it's gonna be Dew's time to shine. So yeah, while he's doing that, let's talk about the next topic. Or well, finish the topic. I talked about Arm Knights, mainly in the older Farman games. And I wanna finish doing that, so... Let's finish doing that. <laughs> so... The game, the next game we need to cover is Path of Radiance. Now, Path of Radiance, unfortunately for Arm Knights, it's a mount dominated game again, so yeah, um, so quite unfortunate, but yep, like I said, it's like, <laughs> yeah, again, it's a mount dominated game, so because your Kanto's super strong, you want to beat mats quick with your bonus experience, yeah, all that jazz, so yeah, but the armor light that they do give you is a pretty cool one, and his name is Gatry. Um, Gatry is well liked because he is a fun character, and also he's not that bad in combat. He does, like Osman, he starts at a slightly higher level, if I remember correctly. And, um, also can send Claude to him. He starts at a slightly higher level, which is cool, and also, um... Yeah, he starts at a slightly higher level, and then, uh... <laughs> And yeah, his stats are pretty good. I remember him being pretty tanky. It's just like, yeah. Um, like I said, <laughs> Pavrids are very mount dominated game. The flyers and the cavalry units kind of just dominate, and you get a lot of them too, so yeah. Because, yeah, like I said, Kanto is like super good, and yeah, they get barely impeded by anything, especially the flyers. So yeah. There's that. We'll see. If, like, another thing too about Puffer is too, it only has times to affect the damage as well. Same with every 7 I'm pretty sure. See so yeah, it. Even arrows are not gonna fill them with hit, See so yeah. it. Yeah, like it's a battle record. But hey, at least Gatry's pretty cool. And you are rewarded a lot for using them in Puffer because he's actually really good in Radiant Dawn. Because, um,. He, um, yeah, he actually is really cool in that game. And yeah, you can give him trances, obviously. The other mounted unit in, um, in Path of is, um, Brom. <laughs> He's not that good. I think, even though Gatry rejoins you later than Brom does, I think Gatry's just better. And yeah, something weird about generals in that game too, they use swords and lances. I'm pretty sure that's just because of the Black Knight, because the Black Knight in that game is a general. That's his class. They didn't give it his own class to rig it, so yeah. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> and, well, that was a good one. 
Be enough to beat them. Maybe a little bit later. Oh yeah, still there. Um, the way you stop doing Europa stuff with her, yeah, I think it will. So, what does she need for this first one? So, the Cav. Okay, so she wants like 19 health. Yep. Oh yeah, we want to do stuff. And we also want to put the iron sword. Hey, anyway, we're gonna just guard the tower so we can get all the costs, I mean. And there you go. <laughs> so yeah, everything else is good. I'm still like moving my units back so we can see combos. So yeah, next time we'll see the iron one with Lux, so yeah, that's cool. Um, okay. So that to a toy. So yeah, uh, like I said, I don't think Bronze that amazing from what I remember. I think just um he's kinda outclassed by how good Gatri is, because Gatri is very slow at base, so yeah. Not much to still say that. And then you also got pre promo general, but yeah, we don't talk about those yet. Maybe we will later. <laughs> anyway. Radiant Dawn, it does have one unpromoted armored <laughs> armored unit. Um Gatry, Brom, and Taroni would come back as um They would come back as uh <laughs> I'll try to say. Um Generals. But you do get one unpromoted unit, and that unit's Meg, and oh my god is she awful. <laughs> and yeah, by the way, I've used them once. And let's just say, okay, here's the thing, she did turn out good, but that took so long. That was like 312 when she became good. Maybe the tiger map, the tiger overlook map, she was alright, but in part 1 she was horrible to use. Especially like, I think it's 1-6 or something, it's the map where um, you get Fiona, the first part of it. Her, her damage results were shockingly bad. Like, heavily weakened enemies, she was failing to kill. That, it, that was how bad it was going. <laughs> but yeah, somehow I persevered, and yeah, like I said, she did eventually become good, which is funny. Um, also, Claude's not getting past this, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, Meg, yeah, I can definitely see why she's one of the worst units ever. And one of the worst Dawnbreaker units, up there with Fiona. Because yeah, poor Fiona has a lot of difficulties of her own to deal with, so yeah. But yeah, now the weird thing about um, Meg is that Meg, um, her stats are weird. Basically, for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to make an Armonite that was good in speed, skill, and res. Like a Pegasus Knight. Which, alright. That does mean that she counts her weaknesses, and then you can bonus experience the other stats, but yeah, because Meg's thoughts are so weak, and needs so much health to go out the ground anyway, yeah, it's not good. And yeah, like I said, that's why she's good and really bad, but anyway, let's see this conversation. Lex, waiting for me, were you? Well, yeah, you said you took your time out there, huh, Ira? They're kind of generic, but hey, <laughs> it's something. It's something cool at least. So, yeah, I can't really add much more than Meg. Yeah, she was not good to use the one time I did. But hey, she made a game, so I guess I won something. And yeah, by the way, Dio is getting very high level. That's cool to see. But anyway. So now we're gonna move them up here, and hopefully this will go well. Although yeah, they're actually gained leadership, so... What I'm gonna do instead is... I'm gonna do this... With the steel sword. Oh, the steel sword, the steel sword. So that they have zero hit. 
because yeah, like I said, these guys don't move, so yeah. I think it's gonna take longer because he does this dash, but that's okay. Yeah, this one's gonna take forever to beat. <laughs> it's gonna take longer than the last one, you know, this one's short. It is what it is. But hey, if you promote, that's all worth it. So that's basically all I'm waiting on now. So let's see. See, with this here, you could get the eye to Ardent? No. But we can at least sell the Steel Axe. And yeah, while I'm here, I'll also repair the Brave Axe. Yeah, so why not? <laughs> and now Ardent can buy himself a Steel Axe. But yeah, only so many hits, so he's gonna have problems hitting with it, but that's okay. So anyway, at least, yeah, this won't take too long in normal time, just because, um... No, they don't attack. Right. <laughs> because they can't... They can't touch this, so yeah. Also, Sylvia can go back to her now. So, yeah, more of this nonsense. So yeah, let's go. Because, yeah, I think she's on enough health. But, yeah, you know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> and there you go. So, who's next? Um, we already talked about FE 11 and 12. I guess FE 11 added Horus, but he's a pretty pro general, so yeah. Again, we probably don't need to talk about him. And, yeah, FE 12. FE 12 buffed, like, like I said before, I believe FE 12 really buffed them. Um, Roger. Like, he has actually pretty good growth rates in that game, so yeah. And now, for Awakening, I remember that being an Armite, but the problem is, is that... I don't remember that name. It's very strange, but from what I remember, they were a pretty good unit. They had some pretty good defense, and um, they proved actually a pretty good pair -up partner. They also had some pretty good supports, I remember, too. They're actually really solid. Parap definitely helps out a lot with, um... Being an armor knight. Like, being an armor knight. Because, yeah, they at least have a niche that, you know... <laughs> they have a niche that is, um... What's the word? <laughs> that does require them to move around too much, so yeah. But anyway... For some reason, there's only one armor that I can remember. <laughs> because there's actually two. For some reason, I can't remember what, who the other one was, though. But anyway, um, that one is Shell, who is actually a Gen 2 unit. Most people don't use her as an armor knight because there's other class to put in, like mounted ones. So, yeah. So, I don't really know how well she is as a general. I'm pretty sure she's pretty good, especially because. You can give her a good father and some good skills. From classes, obviously. I think one of the more popular ones is Gaius, because Gaius gives that pairing Gale Force, which is obviously amazing. But other than that, I don't really know much else about Shell. I actually kind of like her design. Her visual art looks pretty cool. I think she looks really good on Black Cup, but anyway. Sad's Awakening, but yeah. Um, for some reason, I feel like there's two armites, for some reason I can't remember what the other one was, but anyway. Now it's time for, um, Fates. Also she lost. But I kinda wanna see how much damage he did. Um... 26. Alright, so you need around 27. So let me take a sip. So Fates! I can't really talk about boots, actually. And back to Dew. I wonder what his hit rate is with the, um... Only at 11. They, um... Don't do it kill me either. So you know what, this is quicker, so let's do it. <laughs> I can lower the hit rate a bit more by getting sick in here too, so yeah, that's right. Because yeah, this does a lot of damage. 
And they will try to enemy face him because they have hit on him. I hope. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, the first one's Effie. She hits really hard. That's a niche. Um, a pretty nice one to have because, yeah, um, she's an excellent dual striker. She can use one two range pretty good too because of her high damage. There's just a lot to like about how Effie fights. Um, so yeah, I definitely do like her. Um, I can't really see much else. Yeah, like I said, she, from what I remember, she was extremely solid, you know? So, and yeah, one of the best star mates in this series up to that point, so yeah, amazing, you know? Character's very interesting too. Alright, if I remember correctly, she was changed quite a bit in the localization. So that's interesting, I guess. But yeah, I don't remember if I used it that much. I think I probably did. Because like I said, she's just a really solid other game. You know? I think like Osmond too, except it's more so because of her damage. Although her tanking ability is still pretty good. Um, so yeah, there's that. So... Because yeah, the main tanky Armonite you get a little bit later, and his name is Benny. One of my brother's favorites. In terms of character. But yeah, he got a lot of use out of the dude in um, Gameplay 2. Like, the dude is so tanky. <laughs> he did his job of being a tank really, really well. So that was great to see. So yeah. That's what- that's a, a very vivid memory of mine when I first saw my brother play Conquest. Just Benny just tanking everything, and also having a decent player phase too with like the brave ones in the game. So yeah. A lot of cool stuff about him. And Dio gets a good level up. So, good for him. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say much else. Oh yeah, he does have a son too, Ignatius. He's just, you know, Benny but better. And also has some access to some other decent classes as well. So yeah, can't really say much else other than that. He's just really solid. Um... Okay, can't really say much else. <laughs> Alright, did I? No, I haven't been typing yet. Because yeah, we want to see what she says to me do. And that guy doesn't want to talk. So yeah, I guess I can't really say much, because yeah, I don't remember using Benny that much, it's more so something that my brother did. But like I said, I probably remember of that playthrough, yeah, some of his early Conquest playthroughs, yeah, he's great. Although yeah, nowadays my brother, I think, when he did Conquest recently, he's always used the more powerful units, but he has done some funny things too. I think Conquest is probably one of his favourite games to play to mess around with. At least on hard mode, which is kind of strange to me because I don't really like super hard farm games, which Conquest kind of is. Um, but yeah, it was pretty cool to see stuff. But anyway, we're gonna also steal this guy's money. That'll put Diva at a nice 46,000. He's gonna need to give some of that to someone else. Um, hmm. He can, you know what? He can just dump all this money on him. He can actually just dump all this money on um, Tail 2, because um, he'll get 20,000 thanks to um, selling Paragon, so he can just buy it back again. That's probably what I'm going to do, so yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. You can also give some of that money to like Chonka too, but really, I like the fun something um, thing to do with Tail 2, so yeah, we're going to do exactly that. And that means I'm going to send Holland to this village. So he can maybe get Paragon next month. And I'm going to hope he can beat the Rune too. Chomka, I have my doubts he can beat the last guy, but I guess I can see. That's a bit of actually. And yeah, if Dio can fight well in the next half, he can give some of that money to Chomka so he can 
use the paracle and promote Seer. So uh, we're gonna do something funny, it sounds like. So there we go. She's almost at the right health, so yeah. Now, Dew is gonna try and steal this guy's money. He has zero hurt. <laughs> nice. Uh, I only 12 hit from that, but yeah, let's just wait, just in case. I mean, I could just attack, healed, and then that would have been it, but you know. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention, but that's okay. Now, let me just do some of this. Uh, yeah, that's the last, um... That is the very last, um... Village, so yeah. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. So yeah, then there's Echoes, which is a remake of um, Gaiden, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna go for 12 hit. Ugh, me men just as useless, are just as useless as always. Damn you, damn all your. That was all hard to say, but anyway. <laughs> yep, dude's definitely not killing this guy. If he did, uh, I would like to do that, but to be honest, I really want to give that um, power ring to the person I really want to. Oh yeah, let's just talk about this boss before I go on to the next game. Yeah, like I said, Echoes is a remake of Gaiden. I've already kind of talked about how I felt about those units, so yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, her health isn't the best for this, but that's okay. I guess this is where her journey is. In the arena. Or maybe not, because this was... Okay. Never mind. Uh... Nah, I think her hit rate is just, I'm not hit rate, I think her health is just too bad because I don't really have any other way to heal her, so you know what, let's just leave her at that. <laughs> let's just save people the misery, so yeah. I guess Tail 2 is going to get power up. Ooh, ooh. That'll be fun. So... Alright, so you got the money, so let's move out. This is like bargain on um, a thief is definitely pretty good. Oh yeah, also, I probably should keep these two around here for Erinus. Because, yeah, like I said, I want her to try and kill the boss. And yeah, Holland, he's just gonna keep it. So yeah, now we're gonna go on to three houses. The only, like, actually there's two, technically. Although one's a fortress knight, that's um, Gilbert. Maybe I'll talk about him when I talk about the generals. Later. Because I would like to talk about generals too, because they're kind of interesting. But anyway, so the dude, he is the only character that has an armor, has armor classes as his cat classes, basically. Which is interesting, because yeah, the only other person that comes to mind for something like that is Raphael, but Raphael is a brawler. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, where's ID? <laughs> I keep forgetting about ID. I need to send her into arena at some point, so yeah. Um, but yeah, really, all I can do is just move to you. But yeah, this is definitely going to take me over 100 turns, no doubt. Because I decided to train Dew and Arden in the same map. And guess what, it actually worked out pretty good, so I'm not complaining. Anyway, um... So let's see this ID for their conversation plan. Medea, you awaited my return home, did you? Of course I did. As long as you're out there doing God's no God's no well, I'm gonna be worried for your safety. And there we go. And his Jonka. But yeah, Jonka could sell his steel bow and give it to Arden. That's what I wanna do. So yeah, let's um dance with Covert Tail to is she's actually decent the arena because of rap. So, giving up the money and then giving up Paragon is actually going to work out quite well for us. Then let's see. So I'll sell the steel bow and I'll send them to the arena with the silver. Too bad he doesn't have a better bow to use, but it's okay. 
Because yeah, if I buy the killer, he's gonna be quite far from park on that. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, the do. Yeah, he's slow. That's the big issue, though. I say it to do. Great character. Absolutely amazing character, in fact. To be honest, if, um. One thing that is great about the do is, of course, his chemistry with the uh, Dimitri, obviously. In fact, in the. <laughs> In the post time skip, he could have been the one to put Dimitri on the right path, I'm sure. If I'd, it would end up being Byleth, just because, you know, he's important, he or she is important in the game, so yeah. Um, man, yeah, that's just the way it is. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, the do great character, he's wholesome and also just a really cool person as well. And yeah, when he needs to be serious, he can be very serious indeed. Like I said, amazing character. Definitely one of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. Anyway, we've got a village conversation to do now, so let's do that. Ugh, I can't stand people like you with nothing better to do than start more wars. Why are you even here? We even we've even absolutely nothing to do with Augusta or Granville. Look, if you really gotta fight, take it somewhere else. You fought the sod. Yeah, that yeah. They tapped us first okay, yeah, that doesn't sound like a good excuse now, does it? Anyway. So now we're just going to end turn. Okay. Also, I could give the money to... Hmm. Because, yeah. Here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna get 10k. Or 20k, sorry. So he's gonna be at... Um... Yeah, the problem is, yeah, then Tilted does have enough to get Paragon if I do that. So yeah, let's just, you know, work on that. Yeah, the question is, is it going to get Paragon first? It's probably going to be Aranus, so she can fly off. Actually, no. It's going to be... Hmm, again, this is annoying, because I want to get... I want Azel to get lost, but I guess, yeah, Aranus can get first, so we can actually, you know, think about Aranus first suit. <laughs> so yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. Yeah, let's, um... I need Horn to come back, so I can do the arena. The other thing about this extra money, it means that, yeah, I can buy the Brave Sword and probably have an easier time. Because I think he needs it for the Dark Mage, so yeah, let's see. More chance to activate Luna and all that good stuff, so yeah. I would like that. Because, yeah, the plan is try to get Paragon next, that's second can promote. Something similar to Luan, actually. Although Luan's definitely a lot lower than so hmm. You will need to beat this arena. If my plans are gonna work, then I do give the money to Tilty. There we go. Now he doesn't have that much money, but he can sell Paragon and buy bags, so no problem. And now Tilty can buy Paragon, no problem, which is great. And now he's gonna get. Now he's gonna solve the um, Paragon, obviously. There you go. And while you sell, this might seem weird, but yeah, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna repair the light brand because I'm gonna hope you get 20k. I'll have, um. Doing the, um. <laughs> I'm gonna help you get 20k out doing funny things. And by funny things, I mean, um, you know, just having all the castles intact and all that. Anyway, Aranus has turned the arena, let's go. And yeah, she doesn't need the feast all day more, so I'm gonna sell it. I don't know who's gonna get it though, because pretty much everyone. Like, most people are promoted, so yeah. Anyway, the Brave Sword's there. I can use that instead of the Brave Lance, see, that's an option. 
So in the first part, I would like to somewhat. But yeah, she's probably getting a s repair with the Simpson somewhat, so yeah. Let me take a sip and I'll first talk about the Dew and the Omnite. <sighs> okay, so yeah, do yeah, like I said, I have a lot of praise for him. Because he's just a really good character. I even like him when he you're not on the blue line strat to be honest. He's very fierce and crimson flat. He would do anything to stop the other god from doing anything to Dimitri. If he played that chapter, so yeah. And then on <laughs> and then the other routes he wants to kill Yodo God with his own hand, so which normally ends badly because he's going into a magic filled room when he's an arm knight with no res, but yeah. It just shows how It just shows how like I don't know what the right word to describe it be. The dude is just insane, let's just say. Not in a bad way, he's just like, you know. The amount of devotion he has is quite insane for the Yeah, it's definitely one of the most devoted characters in the series. Also, I realize she uses some lots, but well. <laughs> Aranus doesn't care that much. Rank 4. An armor is very good, but at the same time, the slim lots is not too bad as well. So let's go. There we go. We're gonna get dodge another one. There we go. So yeah. Like I said, amazing character. I like him on when he's just not... When you're not playing blue lines. So. I don't know about how he is in free hopes because I haven't looked up that game fully yet, so yeah. Anyway, rank 5 now, if I could keep using the summons. So, what else can we talk about now? Oh yeah, overall. So yeah, like I said, even though... I wouldn't say Armour Knights are one of my favourite classes, but... Like I said, they are kind of cool, because... Um, they've got some pretty cool characters, and they do some pretty interesting things with them. Hmm. Spear truck? I'll try it. I think I'll cut, because this might take a while. Don't forget what I say, let's buy the Braze Sword and beat them with it. So let's try that now. Problem is, yeah, getting Paragon next up, not going to happen at the start, but we do have a solution. And his name is Luan! <laughs> so there we go. Because yeah, Luan, he doesn't need to immediately go for the arena and promote. So yeah, we can always wait. And there we go. It's more important that Aranus promotes for the next map, the start of it. Anyway. Rank 6. I'll try the Sun Lance again. If that doesn't work, we'll try the Breeze Sword. So, yeah. So, like I said, overall, Armor Knights, yeah, I wouldn't say they're my favorites because I do prefer using mounted units a lot of the time because they're, like, pretty fun. Um, but, yeah. I can definitely see why they're quite popular. Like, using. Um, Underrated unit type can be fun, and also sometimes they are actually just really good and really useful units. Like some of the examples I've shown, so yeah. There we go, Brace still doing its thing. There we go, and now I can use the Slim Sword and beat them up. There we are. Yep, <laughs> this might take a little bit, but that's okay. Oh yeah, like I said, um... Like I keep saying, yeah, well, I guess I'm not the biggest fan of using them all the time, but yeah. 
for when they are good, they're very good. So yeah, I still like them, even though yeah, most foreign games kind of hate them. So yeah. There we go. She didn't get hit by two subsets. And level 17. And she's gonna take this Paragon and go off and fight the boss. So yeah, really, she doesn't need Paragon probably, but yeah, it's probably to better to be safe than sorry. Um, so what we'll probably do is she'll sell the Paragon and then Luna will get the money. So then she can buy Paragon next up and then we'll be all happy. But yeah, one thing I will do is sell that bracelet so maybe um, Holland can use it. And yeah, he should be able to use it just fine, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. And while I'm here, I'm gonna also repair the slim lines and the slim sword. So yeah, she has around 30k at the moment. Anyway, like I said, she's gonna go off and fight the boss. Cool, right? Anyway. <laughs> I think now is the time I'm gonna cut because yeah, I'm out of topics. Because yeah, but I talked about the Arm Knights and yeah, it's probably a lot better if I cut around now. So yeah, we're gonna do exactly that. So yeah, like I said. And yeah, finally talked about those Arm Knights now. And yeah, like I said, I feel like yeah, Farm's doing a much better job of trying to make them useful, especially Fates. Fates, for all the problems it has, it does, you know. It did, it was a, definitely a big step up in gameplay when compared to um, Awakening in my opinion, so yeah. And you can see like Conquest with how it's designed. Like even on, like yeah, it's hard, but even on normal mode, which is quite easy actually, I still think it's like stimulating and fun and all that. It has a good balance I think on normal mode. On hard mode I think it's a bit too hard for me, but yeah. Interesting. Then, like I said, I'm gonna cut to when Aranus goes off and fights the boss. Which should be easy for her because the dude has a hand axe, we have a slim sword, we're gonna destroy him. So let's do that. Oh yeah, also, I could have also bought the power ring for the fight because yeah, with that she probably would have cleared the arena. No problem. Also, she has like 16 strength. Where did all, where did all that happen? <laughs> How strong is she compared to the rest of my army? Shrimp wise. She has the same strip as Alec. How? <laughs> More strip than Medea. Oh my god. <laughs> I know I love Pegasus Knight so much, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm gonna still keep the powering on her because yeah, I still like on her. Again, making a flyer OP is normally really good. I mean, it's not as good in this game, but still. Apparently I didn't need a cut, considering that, you know, I just talked about how stupid, um, strong um, she got. You need to factor in the strength bonus she got if you want to, um, try and calculate the average. It's plus 3 strength, so really her strength is 13 at level 17, so you can see if that's above the blur average. But anyway. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And what's your hit rate? Zero good. <laughs> this should be an easy call. Anyway. Another thing we can do, we can do something similar to Bitterwolf. We probably should do that. <laughs> so I'm going to do that. Lux is going to give us my Beowulf, so Beowulf can use Paragon, get through the arena. He should do well with the Brace Sword, so yeah, that's going to be the plan. Alright. Aranus is also going to get a lot of experience doing this too. I don't think she'll promote, but still. There we go. Blank level up. Well, as soon as I see she's doing well. Haha. 
Anyway, yep, we're just gonna let Ernest do her thing. It's definitely... Yep, 101 turns. So yeah, this fight took me longer than the other one. Shock. Anyway, um... Shock runs bad this game. Anyway, <laughs> Oh well, I wonder, what do people prefer? Me being the match quicker, or um... This is a weird question. Do people want me to play more optimally and try to lower my turn counts, or do people want me to see experience numbers go up? I like the experience numbers personally. I also should attack with Aranus. I forgot. Because this guy can't do anything. He's helpless. <laughs> So yeah, here's Beowulf. So now Luxus can get the money to Beowulf. So let's do that. She does need to repair some stuff, but she can just go through the arena without the Paragon Bank, considering she's all turning it. So yeah. And yeah, let's not forget that when you attack with her. She still has zero... <laughs> they still have zero hit. That's just how bad the hand axe is. More than anything. And how good Aranus is, I guess? Anyway. <laughs> So let's see, do yeah he's just doing his thing. And Holland, yeah, he's come back. But yeah, also if you're running too, yeah, I kinda also want Ernest to pass down the power ring. That's another reason why she's doing this. That is one of my plans. And we're gonna keep Holland. Let's do this. In fact, Holland might be the one to hold on to my Brave Sword for the next map. Then you'll use the Clint Arena, and then we'll be very happy. And that's the end of him. No, oh, damn it all! Hey, level 19 for Aranus. Power Ring. Now she's even stronger. So that's good to see, and yeah, she's... I mean, here's the thing, she's gonna promote no matter what I do, so really, do I need to give her the power combat next up? For the arena? It would be nice. Like, I'm doing something similar to Beowulf anyway, so I might as well do it. Because yeah, she can always get the money back to Luan, so that Luan can, um, get Paragon himself. Then yeah, now what Aranus is gonna do, she's gonna come back, and she's gonna help those two get through the arena. Meanwhile, Dew is gonna go on this trip. Holland is gonna go to the arena. Not with Paragon though, because he doesn't need it. Yep, he needs it next up though. Yeah, might as well dance for it. I'll make this the last one, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I will. Next part, we'll do the final preparations for this map then. Okay, sending these two lads into the arena. <laughs> and yeah, we'll start um, Aranus' money too in the next part as well. Sigurd's so ready to see us now, so that's good. We did this, which should be useful. And yeah, Dew's on his way to go get that weapon. So yeah, let's use Holland. This will be the last thing we do. And yeah, like I said, I don't know if we need to do this or not, but yeah, let's give him the free sword. And yeah, he still has 30k, so this should be fine. But yeah, I really think he needs the free sword, because the free sword is so strong. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, he could be the one to hang on to it for the arena, because he is going to be one of my Paragon people next map. So yeah, for the arena. Yeah, I mean, nice enough. And yeah, right, like I said, the bracelet gives him more chance to add by Luna, so yeah, very nice one. And there we go. And yeah, like I said, no Paragon, because yeah, that's what the next up's gonna be all about. Rank 6 killer. Let's hope the bracelet's enough. 
He has good defense, so I hope it is. Unfortunately, missing a 96 is not what I want to see. But, he dodged it, so that's good. Another 96 miss. And he missed it. I'll try the speed out trick, I think. At least for the time being. Well, he did it. The brace sword's almost gone, though, is the issue. But at least we won't need it for this guy. So we can use the Steel Blade. Let's go. We got the Lunar, that's good. And, well... <laughs> I guess we're doing the Spear Trick again. <laughs> hmm, will he still get Paragon? I'm not so sure. Oh, we'll see. We'll try the spear trick. Okay, let's just try the brace sword now, just because yeah, it's lighter weight. It should be good for him. I hope. <laughs> I don't like the fact that I can land two twenty sevens. Like that. Hmm. What do I do? Maybe I'll wait. And hope he gets lucky. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, this brace sword's done. So, but yeah, what's gonna probably happen is is I'm going to prepare it next map. That's going to be my plan. So yeah, how's he looking? He's looking pretty good. I guess yeah, maybe we could, he could help out as well. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna do, keep doing these preparations in the next map. Or next up, next part. So yeah, next time we're going to send in these two to the arena. I'm gonna try sending in maybe some other people too, we'll see. I might cut around a lot in the next part too. I'll also show at the end to this chapter as well, so yeah. <laughs> we're definitely gonna be done with this chapter next part. I'm, I am, I can guarantee that, so yeah, look forward to that. And yeah. We did quite well today. Ernest is really close to promotion now, which is great. Um, we decided to get Tilt to the money for Paragon, which could be amazing next part. Um, hopefully she does well in the arena then. It should be quite a lot of fun to see her in the arena because of Ralph. And yeah, who knows what Azil can do with level 17. So yeah, that should be all interesting things to look forward to. See ya. I won't hold the time anymore, see you next time, the final preparations for chapter 3, so I'll see you guys again for that.